This feature is brought to you by OrganaGrow, your one-stop shop for organic pest controls, natural fertilizers, and everything you need for a safer home and a greener lawn and garden. Visit us on the web or at our location just south of Waxahachie. Keeping their lawn and garden lush and green, Rick and Pam Daniel of Midlothian don't need to worry about high water bills or potential water restrictions. That's because every time it rains, they store the bounty nature offers in a simple rainwater harvesting system. Rainwater harvesting consists of your roof, the catchment area, which is typically going to be your roof, is what you're going to collect the water off of. You're going to need gutters and downspouts to direct that water into storage tanks. And there are a multitude of storage tanks that can be used above ground, below ground, all different sizes, shapes, from plastic to metal to wood. Then it is stored in these tanks, and then from the tanks, it is distributed to flower beds, um, vegetable gardens for landscape, or it can be distributed into the home for um, potable use or, you know, other uses. Rainwater is considered to be the gold standard of water as it's free of many of the contaminants found in conventional water supplies. Rainwater is some of the purest, cleanest, most efficient water you can use for your landscaping. Uh, for example, when you turn on your tap and use municipal water, it's full of chlorine. The water that falls from the sky is full of nitrogen. That's one of the reasons that your grass turns so green after a rain is because of all the nitrogen content in the water. The proof can be seen in their variety of healthy flowers and native plants and in the abundant harvest that their vegetable garden yields. All we need to do to water the front here, Pam, let's show them what you do. I simply just, we've got a, a valve here so I can use it for a couple of things, but I just turn this valve on and I can either use the watering hose to fill up my watering can or the other valve opens up my drip irrigation, which is underneath my mulch. Here's a piece that I've pulled up. The drip irrigation is weaved through the flower bed underneath the mulch, and then it drips the water and waters the bed. When I'm done, turn it off. For the Daniels, rainwater harvesting is both profitable and rewarding. The couple has seen a dramatic decrease in their water bills. We have a 4,000-gallon collection system that we drip irrigate which is the most efficient way to water your landscape, and it has cut our water consumption in half. Our water bills are now about $20 a month instead of over hundreds of dollars. We've had them as high as $300, and since we put our system in last August, our largest water bill has been $27. And they are reducing their demand on water resources. Rick and I are both just have normal jobs. I'm in real estate. He's in medical sales. And this is something we decided to do because water conservation has always been very important to us. This way, we can capture 4,000 gallons of rainwater, keep it stored, and water our outside plants with simply rainwater. We no longer use our municipal water to water our outside and has saved us a tremendous amount of money, yet it is an important and the right thing to do as water conservation becomes so important in Texas. Rainwater harvesting can be as simple as placing a barrel under the roof of one's home to catch runoff for watering potted plants. Or it can be as complex as outfitting larger tanks to provide water for cooking and drinking inside the home. The Daniels say that implementing a system of rainwater collection is simple and that they are dedicated to helping others to learn how feasible and beneficial rainwater harvesting can be.